in my panel we have pop culture commentator Lisa Durden, radio host Fred, Mr. Fred on air, joining us for the second time. Glad to have you back. And entertainment commentator Holland Reed, my girl Holland. I love it when you. I love it when y'all are all here. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I tweeted first, but have yours ready. I tweeted hashtag Do you laugh or cry when you look at baby photos of yourself? I laugh. That's my mommy and me. I guess I'm like two or three months oh. old in this picture. I don't know where I'm looking, but I love that picture of my mom and me. She looks so happy and I just look like a goofball. Okay, so Holland Reed, do you laugh or cry when you see your baby photos? I, I laugh because my head was ginormous and I was bald <laughs> till I was like two years old. But you have so, so much hair now. Well, honey, you have to you have to go out shopping for oh, this. I'm just oh, saying. But oh. no, seriously, I, I laugh because I just had this watermelon size head. I still probably do. And my mom used to rub my head to shape it and it didn't do any good clearly to this day. But I, I oh. laughed. Uh, I should be crying though. You have a beautiful <laughs> head, Holly. Oh, Lisa, you, how darling. about you? Do you laugh or cry when you look at your baby photos or any other pictures of yourself? Girl, I have to weep. When I was in kindergarten, <laughs> my mother, girl, my mother took a picture of me for, uh, I mean, she did my hair for some pictures we were taking in kindergarten, and I cry when I see it because I had no hair. I was what we call in the hood, ball headed. I said, Mama, <laughs> Mama, can you make a ponytail? She said, Baby, you ain't got no hair for a ponytail. <laughs> and so when I see that picture now, I start to cry like, What happened to my hair? It was a disaster. But my cheeks were cute. They were kind of chubby and cute. Oh, okay. But okay. I, I normally cry. <laughs> Fred on air, what would you tweet with that hashtag? Um, do you laugh or cry that your last five dates are from Tinder? And I cry. Oh. It's very sad. It's a sad story. Oh, Fred. <laughs> Oh, well, we do make love Disaster. connections here on The Daily Share, so maybe that's something that'll happen. Oh, you do? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we got to move on to number nine. Justin Trudeau, Canada has a new leader. The Liberal Party candidate defeated the incumbent conservative prime minister, Stephen Harper, in the federal election last night. Trudeau's dad was the prime minister in the 70s and the 80s. Look at him. Oh, shaking hands, kissing babies. The conservatives had been in power in Canada for almost 10 years. At number eight, Glassdoor. This is a website where employees and former employees anonymously review companies and its management. Glassdoor just released its list of the 25 best jobs for work-life balance based on feedback shared on that site. People are sharing it on Facebook right this second. Here are the top five. Data scientist, SEO manager. For those of you who don't know what SEO means, that's search engine optimization. Number three, talent acquisition specialist. Number four, social media manager. And number five, substitute teacher. Really? I can't believe substitute teacher made that list, but I guess it did. Okay, coming in at number seven, it's Gilmore Girls. You guys, the rumors are true. Netflix is bringing back the popular mother-daughter show. Well, sort of. Okay, let me explain. It will air a limited series revival um, that's consisting of four 90-minute episodes. Negotiations are still ongoing with the cast, but the key players are said to be coming back still. This was huge news, especially on Facebook and Twitter, where it's been tweeted about more than 40,000 times in just the last 24 hours. Now, this is great news for fans of the show, and it seems to be happening more and more. Netflix did the same thing recently with Arrested Development. Lisa, do you think we'll see more mini reunions of popular shows? Oh, absolutely. The reboot is the new black. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> yes, not orange is not the new black. The reboot is the new black. <laughs> because the reboot introduces new audiences to these kinds of shows. And I say, thank goodness for TV land that got it started. So with Gilmore Girls, I will be binge watching. <laughs> See, that's the thing, Fred, when you think about this. So yeah, they're bringing this back in a new way. But yeah. that's what people go to Netflix for, for is binge watching. Do you think that this will create an entirely right. new audience? I don't know. If it would, they should go back and watch the originals. They're going to have to to know what's going sure. on if they're going to pick up from there. Absolutely. And I have questions. One person's dead from the show, Ooh. and then Melissa McCarthy, isn't she way too big? To be on the, I mean, famous, I mean. She's oh, because I was about to go to in on, on you, Fred. Do not oh. 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 Thank Man, God. You better clean that up. Let's give Fred a minute oh, wow. to redeem himself. What were you saying, Fred, about <laughs> Melissa McCarthy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's too famous. She's too big for that okay. show. I didn't mean anything right. else. Wow. Y'all settle down. You about, all of these women were about to be on you. Holland, what do you think, oh, though? I'm sure you saw on social people were going bananas 
about Gilmore Girls coming back. Oh, it's like, I mean, nonstop tweeting. I think it was such a show that was, it was this new look at a mother-daughter relationship, and it was very real and very different, and I think that the generation that is going to be introduced to this now will get to see, you know, kind of this, the, the way things changed um, as far as looking at par parenting. It was very different. It was very new uh, during that time, and to revamp it, it definitely is going to be great for another generation to kind of jump on the bandwagon, and uh, everybody's going crazy about it. It's going to be great. I'm still over here tripping about Fred. I cannot believe you, Fred. I love you, Fred. I'm glad you're back, and I'm glad we gave you the chance to clear that up. Fred about was McCarthy. about to be ready. Look at it. Look at his face right now. Look at. <laughs> you look good, Fred. You look good. <laughs> Coming First in at number six. First of all, I'm Second of all, I'm gonna wind up on the soup. Oh, you just exactly. might. You might wind up on the soup. Okay, coming in at number six the is the hashtag Monster Under My Bed said. Sounds like people are having some fun while getting into the Halloween spirit with this hashtag. Here are some of our favorites so far. Hashtag Monster Under My Bed said. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not nightmares. I don't know about that, you guys. If my dreams don't scare me, they're not nightmares. And how about hashtag Monster Under My Bed said. You spend way too much time on Twitter. <laughs> But this one takes the cake, or maybe that cookies. Okay, it's funny. It's a funny meme combining the classic horror movie, The Shining, and Cookie Monster. Hashtag Monster Under My Bed said, Cookies! <laughs> what? Who comes up with these hashtags? Seriously, that's so funny. Okay, guys, after the break, we're bringing you the top five stories that everybody is talking about. Don't go anywhere. Keep it right here on The Daily Show. You never know what Fred on air is going to say next. We're a marketing research company, so I need to collect your phone so you can't post pictures. Okay, how does it feel?